Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Soul and Ma collection from Colourpop Cosmetics. Today's video is probably going to be my longest video period because we are covering a lot today. So grab your snacks, grab your drinks because today's video is going to be a freaking long one, okay? So pretty much in today's video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on each of the items from the palette to the lip colors to the highlighters. And then I will move on to talking about dupes and comparisons for the eyeshadows and the lip colors and then we'll move along to my five demos so yes I am doing five demos in today's video I don't know if that's too much or what usually with my videos I only do three demos but I was having a bit of a dilemma with this collection whether I wanted to create three looks or five looks or six looks I just didn't know what to do and this was kind of like my happy medium so one side of me I was thinking like you know, not everybody is going to go out and buy the Soul and the Mar palette. Like, people might not want to buy both of the palettes. Some people might just get one or the other. So with my videos, I always want to cater to everyone. I always want to help everyone. But I know that's literally impossible because I'm only one person. So I end up creating two looks with the Soul, two looks with the Mar, and then one look with the Soul and the Mar together. So that way, if you guys only bought one of the palettes, you will have two looks from each of the palettes to get inspiration from. And for those of you guys that bought both palettes, I created this one look that I'm wearing right now that you can rock using both palettes. So that was kind of like my happy medium and hopefully this will cater to most people. So in saying that, I have five demos and then in those five demos, I actually swatched all three of the Ultra Bottle Lips with the highlighter for each individual look. So that way you could see what the lip colors look like with the actual palette that it was meant to pair with. So yeah, it's going to be a very, very, very long video, so I highly suggest you grab a freaking snack, okay? Before we get started with the video, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I did announce something very special over there, something about me being part of the ColourPop family. I have a couple of updates about that announcement, and I want to talk to you guys about it, but I don't want to keep this intro too long, so I'll talk about it more towards the end of the video, probably talk about it after the dupes, before the demos. I will actually leave timestamps down below of everything in this video from the demos, swatches, comparisons, everything. I'll leave the timestamps down below just in case you're here for certain things. It will make it easier because I know this video is going to be a long one. Jumping right into it, let's start off with some product info because I feel like you guys need to know what's actually in this collection before I even start talking about it. So this is Colourpop's like summer collection for 2018. You first get two eyeshadow palettes, you get the Soul and the Ma. These both are 12 US dollars. They come with nine eyeshadows. It is in the hard packaging. If you guys bought any of their like pressed single shadows that come in a hard compact, this is the same packaging. The names are on the back and there's also a mirror inside here as well. Since we're on the topic of packaging, I just want to mention that when my palette came, this shadow here called Anthem, it did come a bit shattered, a bit broken. I pressed it down with my finger. That seemed to do the trick, but just like half an hour ago, I dropped it on the floor and it completely shattered and I really tried my best to push it back together, but I think because because of this packaging, it's a little bit more fragile because I've never had an issue with any of my other ColourPop palettes in the cardboard packaging to ever shatter on me. So I think it might be this packaging that is not as dirty as you think. So just keep that in mind. And then we have three lip colors. These are three new shades to the Ultra Blotted family. These are six US dollars each. And to round off this collection, they came out with four Super Shock highlights. I only picked up one because if you guys watch my ColourPop reviews often, you guys will know I'm not the biggest fan of the Super Shock family. So I just got Thimble, which I thought would be the best match to my skin tone. So if you want to buy the whole collection, you can actually buy it for $68. Usually it would be $74. So you are saving a bit of money there, which is great. And yeah, that is the product info. That's everything in this collection, the prices. We can start talking about each individual product now. Let's start off with the eyeshadow palettes just because I feel like that's the most exciting thing. Well, to me, it's like the most exciting thing. So 
let's talk about soul first because it's the orange, it's the warm palette, it's the one that I feel like everybody would kind of gravitate to. So please keep in mind when I'm reviewing this palette right now, I am just reviewing this palette as it is. I am not reviewing this palette, how it would work with other palettes, how it would work with Ma. I'm just reviewing these nine shadows in this one palette that is called Soul. Like I already mentioned, I already came across one inconvenience, which is the broken shadow and now it's actually completely broken and it's like everywhere like and I also want to mention that I will be comparing this palette to the Yes Please palette but that will be in my demo section if you want to know about that just check the timestamps for the dupe section I encountered some problems with this palette so the first one being is the matte shadows there are four mattes in here which you know sounds great four mattes five metallics that's a good balance for a nine pan palette but the thing is with the matte shadows you only get one transition three mediums that is not enough to make a well depth smoky look. It's just missing that very dark shadow to deepen up the outer corner and pretty much take it to the next level. The looks that you're going to get out of this palette alone is going to be very bright and very daytime glam. Daytime glam in my opinion, maybe not in yours. I would have been happy if it was like one transition, two medium shades and then this one could have been like the dark brown that I'm asking for. And then my second issue that I had was with this shade here in the middle which is called Motel and this one here called floaties I believe. I use this on my lid and what I noticed throughout the day and keep in mind I've never had this issue with any other Colourpop shimmer shadows but it started to fall out like the little specks of glitter started to fall out onto my lashes so when I look down my lashes are literally just carrying a bunch of red and orange glitters but in saying that these two shades are the most unique shades in this palette along with this one down here the bright orange which is called Ooh, with three O's. Everything else in here you definitely can dupe even from Colourpop themselves or from other brands or other palettes that you might already have. For this palette, I'm not like screaming at you guys like you gotta get it like this is so good. I personally still like Yes Please better. I probably will get more wear out of that from like daytime to colourful to nighttime. I think Yes Please is more rounded but Yes Please does have more shadows. So yeah, that is just my quick little thoughts on the Soul palette. Now let's talk about the Ma palette. Oh, the Ma palette, guys. Now, this is a palette that I'm screaming at you. You have to buy it. When you just open up, where does your eyes go? Right in the middle, this beautiful shade here called Gridlock. This shadow is out of this world. I would pay $12 alone just for this middle shadow here. I really want them to make this into like a single shadow that I can just pop into like my magnetic palette, like my Z palette thing, because this shadow is just so unique. The way it applies you don't even need to wear it guys like you seriously don't I mean you can it'll be even more like metallic and shiny and pretty but you don't have to wear it and it's so freaking blinding it applies so smoothly just the glitters the iridescent in there it just makes it look so good on the eyes and the blue the shade of the blue it just screams mermaid it is the star of the show it is the star of this collection you could wear this eye look right now like the blue in the middle here you could wear a nude lip and an all black outfit and it's very very wearable. Even this one down here which I think is called HWY which is Highway. This one is so beautiful as well. There's something very similar to the Jaclyn Hill palette but it's a little bit different but as for the mattes in here there's only two mattes so obviously two mattes you can't create a really good solid look with this. You kind of get like a light to medium transition color and then a very dark color here which you know it's not the best to create like a very in-depth look. So pretty much both of these palettes they are not like all round palettes where they have a transition medium shades and then darker shades in one palette these palettes I think work better together because in the soul palette you get your transition shade you get your medium shades and then in the Ma palette you get a medium shade and a darker shade and I feel like these two together just work so much better you can get better eye looks with these two palettes together the oranges and the reds and the blues just contrast against each other and now we're moving on to the ultra blonde lips like I said there are three new shades to this family if you guys have watched any of my previous Colourpop videos, you would know that I actually love this formula. Zuma Doozy Party Wave is like one of my all-time favorite lip colors. The best way to describe the Ultra Blonde Lip, it's kind of like a lip tint, but like a matte version of a lip tint. They're not very opaque in color where it's going to be very pigmented. What you would do with a lipstick if you blotted it down, this is what it would look like. So my favorite out of the bunch is definitely Vitamin C. Out of the five looks, this is what I wanted to pair it with. And then 
then my next favorite would be Ocean Avenue. This is the next color that I felt like would pair nicely with most of the looks. As for Soda Pop, I just feel like in this collection, it was just so out of place. It didn't match any of the five looks that I created. I didn't even want to wear it. It just didn't go well with the oranges and it just, to me, it didn't look good. Probably with other makeup looks and stuff like that, I think this would go nicely. For this collection as a whole, this one was just a weird one to put in. I would have been more happy with like a nude or something because that's something that we haven't seen from the Ultra Blotted Lip line, but this one was just such a random color to me. It really didn't go with the feel and the vibe of this collection. So it's a nice color but if we're speaking collection wise this was not a good one. And then moving along the last product is the Super Shock Highlight. So I have used the Super Shock Highlight before and I personally wasn't a fan of it but I know that I was using it wrong. Ever since I used it wrong I didn't actually got to try it out by using my fingers. So with the Super Shock formula you always want to use your fingers. That's just the best way to apply it. If you use a brush to apply the highlights it looks so choppy so glittery and it's not like a pretty highlight so what I would recommend is just using your finger and just dabbing it on and can you just see my cheekbone highlight and how blinding that is it is freaking amazing and it just looks so good if you know how to use your super shock shadows it works perfectly fine. Just with me, I do find it risky to buy the Super Shock Shadows just because they are so fragile and I've had multiple Super Shock Shadows that come to me and they come broken. You definitely could just push it back together with your finger. Even though it's super affordable, if you live internationally, Colourpop takes forever, like the shipping takes forever and for something to come that you've been waiting so long for and it comes broken, it's like I'd rather just not order it at all, if you know what I mean. So overall, my thoughts on this collection, I do think it's a good collection. It does scream out summer to me, and I think they did a good job with it. My favorites out of everything definitely would have to be the Mar palette. This is my first recommendation. Just for that blue shade, I think it's so, so freaking worth it for $12 for this whole eyeshadow. You have to get it. My next favorite is obviously Vitamin C Ultra Blotted Lip. This is a lip color that I can see myself wearing all the time. And then of course the Super Shock Highlight. Now that I know how to actually use it, it's an amazing product and I can see why people love the Super Shock Highlights so much because how could you not like that? I mean. So now that we got the review out of the way, we are going to move on to the dupes section. I'm actually just going to voice over that just because I feel like me sitting here trying to describe the shades and the difference between them, I feel like it's really no help at all. You guys can see for yourself whether it's a dupe or not side by side. I did get the best natural lighting I possibly could. So they are quite accurate in my opinion. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it up to my editing self and my voiceover to help guide you through my dupe section. Okay, for the first dupe, to my left, we have the shade Detour from the Mar palette. And on to my right, we have the Single Press Shadow in the shade Backstage. As you can see here, the tones, everything about these two shades are very much alike. But as you see, Swatch Backstage, which is the Single Press Powder, is a lot more pigmented. But definitely with these kind of shades, you do want to build them up on your eyes. So it doesn't really matter if the initial pigment on your eyes is pigmented or not because these kind of shades you really do want to start off with a light hand and slowly build that up. So for me if you are just getting the Mar palette for this specific cobalt blue you definitely could just get it in the single pan and save your money that way if you were just getting the Mar for that sole purpose. So next I'm going to compare the Soul palette to the Yes Please palette. I feel like this is probably going to be a frequently asked question about the Soul palette. And these are the four shades that I grabbed from both palettes and compared them side by side. And as you can see they are kind of similar but they're at the same time very different as well. I do feel like if you have the Yes Please palette you can get very similar looks from the Soul palette from the Yes Please palette. I personally don't feel like you need to have both. I would just go for the Yes Please. Like I mentioned in my review portion that the Yes Please palette is a lot more rounded. There are medium, there are transitions, and there are also dark tones, but with the Soul palette, you don't get that. I think it's really personal preference. I like the Yes Please palette. It's just one of my ride or die palettes. I always go back to that one. Okay, let's get started with the lip dupes. We are starting off with the shade Soda Pop and I have two dupes for you guys here. And just throughout the lip dupes, I just want you guys to know that the Ultra Blotted Lip is a very different kind of formula. It's a very light 
formula as in like the pigmentation is not comparable to like an ultra matte or a luxe lipstick where it's very opaque very pigmented and that can alter how it looks on the lids but i truly feel like the dupes that i found if it was all in the same formula they will look exactly the same so if you like certain shades in the luxe lipsticks or in the ultra mattes ultra satins but you want it in the ultra blotted formula here are your dupes for example ultra matte lips they tend to dry down a little bit darker so yeah just keep that in mind while you are looking through these dupes okay so those were all of the dupes hopefully you guys have found that helpful before we get started with the five demos i want to quickly mention about the announcement that i made on my instagram so if you guys don't follow me on instagram a couple of weeks ago i announced on my stories that i am now part of the ColourPop family and what that pretty much means well i didn't really know clearly until like two days ago but at that time i thought i was like on the actual like pr list when they send new releases i would get before the launch or around the launch but I just asked again if I would be getting the Kathleen Lights collection if I would be getting sent it just so I know if I'm not gonna get sent it then I would obviously just purchase it myself so pretty much I'm more of like an ambassador for Colourpop rather than on the actual PR list like the PR list that you guys are thinking of so pretty much every month Colourpop will let me choose a bunch of items that I want to try out of this site so I can choose the new collections or anything like that that's just at a certain time it's not whenever I want so if a collection for example the Kathleen Lights one just came out I could have waited until my next month box but I feel like that was too far away so I ended up just buying it myself so yeah I'm pretty much like a Colourpop ambassador if you know what I mean I'm not like on the actual PR list so we still have that issue of me uploading my Colourpop reviews very late because of the shipping but I mean it's better than nothing I'm so happy I'm sorry if this kind of let you down in a way I was very vague about it in my stories I didn't want it to be like I was lying to you guys or if I was misleading you so I'm not actually on the actual PR list but I am still getting PR are from Colourpop themselves. So yeah, that's how it's working and it's just very exciting that I get to work with Colourpop now. Being ambassador or being on their PR list, I think it's great either way and hopefully more towards down the road they will actually put me on their PR list and the issue of me filming and editing and uploading my Colourpop videos going up sooner will be solved. So that's just the situation I am in with Colourpop right now. I am just their ambassador. I am not on the actual PR list that you guys are thinking of. So yeah, with that being cleared out, let's go ahead and get started with the five demos. So here are my two looks for the Soul palette. One is a little bit more orange and one is a little bit more red pinky base. They are similar techniques but they are very very simple so let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to take the shade New Digs and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm putting that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions and slowly blending that up towards our brow bone. Next, I'm going to take the shade Dynamite and I'm going to put this in the outer third of my eye, just sweeping that on and bringing what is ever left on my brush towards the inner part of my crease. We just want to build any kind of definition we can with these matte shadows. Next we'll be taking the shade Unwind and I'm just going to put this on the outer lash line. I want to start creating like a smoky lash line, just something a little bit different from what I usually do other than like my typical wing liner. So I just go in with like a pencil brush just to diffuse it, go back in with the flat brush to build that pigment back on. Just going back and forth with my brushes just to get the intensity that I can with this medium shadow. 
We will be then going into the shade Floaties and this is going into the inner part of our lid space where it's kind of blank and we're just going to focus most of the product there and then what's ever left on my brush just drag it out to the outer part like a smooth gradient. Also for your information I did wet my brush while using this shade. Going back into the shade Dynamite, I am running this on my lower lash line from outer to inner corner, connecting it with the shadow on top. And then using Unwind, I'm gonna just slightly define my lower lash line, just the outer part, connecting it with the smoky lash line on top. And this is the completed look for look number one for the Soul palette. For lashes, I am wearing the Bedore Light from House of Lashes. And for my lip color, I decided to pair it with the Ultra Blotter Lip in the shade Vitamin C. Jumping straight into it, we are taking the shade New Digs as our transition shade, exactly the same step as the first look. Then we'll be taking the shade Ooh with three O's and this is going into the outer V of my eye. Very similar to the first look but we'll also be taking it to the inner part of my lid space as well in the inner corner. My intention with the shadow was to create like a halo eye but while I was doing this look I realized that this wasn't deep enough to actually create a halo eye but this is the direction that I was going in. So pretty much I'm just putting this like all over my lid space from outer to inner corner of my lid really getting into that inner part and then we're taking the shade unwind and I'm putting that in the same places that we put ooh but like I mentioned in my review it's very hard to create any depth with this palette alone so the direction that I was going with this look that I had in mind was to create a halo eye but I come to realize that this palette you can't create a halo eye because there is not a dark enough shade to help you do that. Although I liked how this look turned out, I was envisioning something else. And then I'll be going into the shade Motel and this shade guys is so stunning. It's a very, very unique shade. Definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. But I'm putting this into the center of my lid space. I'm using more of like a fluffier shader brush. That way I'm just really diffusing it all over my center lid instead of like carving out my crease or anything. And just patting it to the outer edges so it doesn't look like smack bam in the middle. You want it to look quite diffused all over the eyes. And just going back into the shade Ooh with the three O's, this is going on our lower lash line from outer to inner corner. And excuse the lash glue, it is still drying. It will be fixed very soon, don't you worry. But we're just going to mimic what we did on top and make everything look more cohesive, connect everything. You guys know the drill. And then I just decided to take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Mr. Bing and I used this to tight line my bottom waterline.
And to finish off this look, I took the Ultra Blotter Lip in Ocean C and I'm putting this into the inner rim of my lips and just taking my pinky finger to diffuse it out and this is going to give us that look that we just had like a raspberry ice block or something. And this is just another way that you could use the Ultra Blotter Lips. And this is the second completed look for the Soul palette. For lashes, I am once again wearing the Bedol Light. And you guys already know what's on my lips. It is the Ultra Blotter Lip in Ocean C. So I hope you guys like the two Soul looks. Now let's go on to the two Ma looks. To start off with the first Ma look, we are taking the shade Sorbet and this is going to be our transition shade. So Sorbet is a little bit more darker to be a transition shade so just really take your time with it. The darker the shade is, the harder it is to blend out so definitely just take your time with it. Transition shades are always very important. And I'm just going straight into top down, which is the very dark chocolate brown, but what choice do we have? I'm just putting this straight into the outer corner of my eye. And what is there left on my brush? You know, just bringing it into the inner part of my crease. Again, the darker the shadow is, the harder it is to blend out. So definitely take your time with this if you are just using the Ma palette alone. I'll be taking the shade My Way and I'm using this shade Wet. I'm going to put this in the inner part of our eye where we kind of kept blanked. And I'm also cutting my crease with this a little bit. It's just so foiled and so metallic that you can honestly cut your crease with this metallic shadow. And it's just such a beautiful bronzy metallic shadow. Perfect for the summertime. Now we'll be taking the shade Detour, which is the bright cobalt blue, and I am pressing this up against my lower lash line, just really building up this color to be as vibrant as it can be. And this is always a great way to add a pop of color to your eye looks. You can do something very neutral, very warm and smoky on top, and just add a pop of color on the lower lash line, and I think it looks great. And now I'm just taking the shade Al Ray and I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone and also the inner corners of my eyes. Quickly just taking the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Swerve, I'm going to use this to tight line my bottom waterline. If you have a blue color liner, that would have looked bomb. And this is a look one completed from the Ma palette. For my lashes, I am wearing Bedore Light once again. I think I'm wearing it in all of the looks, but for my lip color, I decided to pair it with Ocean Avenue. Okay, we are taking Sorbet once again because there is no other transition shade for us to use. Going into the shade Detour, this is going to act as our medium shade and I'm putting this in the outer corner of my eye 
what is ever left on my brush, bring it into that inner crease because for this look, we are creating a half cut crease. And like I was saying in my dupe section that this color is very buildable, which is great because I feel like for these vibrant colors, they can be a little bit intimidating. So it's great that it's more of a buildable shade. And then taking our darkest shade, which is top down, this is going into the same places that we place detour, but focusing it in a smaller section. And now I'm just taking some concealer on the back of my hand and I'm gonna start cutting out my crease. I'm not even gonna like really explain how I do my cut crease at this point because this video is already so long. I'm just going to leave a card here on how I do my cut creases and that's a very in-depth video. So if you wanna check that out, I think it would be more helpful. And now for the star of the show, we are taking Gridlock. I was hyping this shadow up in my review portion and you will see how well this shadow performs. I did not wet this brush guys and you can see how high shine, metallic, reflective, all those glitters in there is just so stunning. I don't know how you could not love this shade, but I'm gonna place this shadow right in the center of my eyes. And then taking the shade Highway, this is going into the inner part of our lid space where the concealer is, where we left blank. This is going to create more of a gradient on the lid. It's going to look more creative, more artistic, like you tried a little harder instead of just putting one whole shade all over your lid. It's going to look freaking bomb at the end, okay? I then took Detour, which is the Cobalt Blue, and I used this shade to mesh the metallics and the mattes together and just to add more blue to the look, and this really pulls the whole look together. I'm going back in with the shade Sorbet, and this is going on our lower lash line from outer to inner corner, just really smoking this one out. I then took a little bit of detour and just pressed this up against my lash line but then I kind of covered it later which you will see in the next clip so you could totally skip this part but I just decided to show you anyway. Because then over here I will take top down and I just go right over that so there was kind of like no point of doing that. And again, I'm just using the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Swerve and I'm going to use this to tightline my bottom waterline. And this is the second completed look for the Ma palette. I think this is probably hands down my favorite. So for lashes, I am wearing the Bador Lights once again. And to finish off this look for my lip color, I am wearing the shade Vitamin C. Okay, and for our last and final look, this is my look using the Soul and the Ma palette together. So first, I'm going to start with the Soul palette using the shade New Digs, and this is going to be our first transition shade. This is the lightest out of everything, so I'm going to use this first to make sure our foundation is good. Still sticking to the Soul palette, I am taking the shade Dynamite and I'm just putting this straight into my crease again but keeping it a little bit lower than the first transition shade because I really want this shade to blend into that transition and it's going to have like a nice soft gradient.
Going in with another medium shade, Unwind from the Soul Palette. This is going into the outer corner of our eye and just bringing what is ever left on my brush into the inner part of my crease. As you can see, this is not a huge jump from Dynamite to Unwind. We are working in steps, that way we can get the most blown out, smoky look. And now I'm going into my Ma palette, taking the shade top down, and this is going to be our darkest shade. And I'm focusing this in the same areas where we use Unwind, but with a smaller brush. And you can just see that when you work in steps, everything does look a lot more blended and it's a lot easier for you. And because I love this shade so much, we are using it again. So this is Gridlock. I'm going to put this into the inner part of my lid space. And you can already see how beautiful this blue against the orange is. It's just so stunning. So I'm using more of a fluffier shadow brush. I don't want to cut my crease out with this metallic shadow. I want it to be very diffuse and just like, I don't know how to describe it. I just want it to be diffused. <laughs> And then I'm just taking my brush with the shade top down on it and I'm just going to diffuse the metallic and the mattes together. And then for my lower lash line, we are going back to the Soul palette, taking the shade Dynamite and we're going to run this on our lower lash line. And then back again with top down, we're going to use this to define our lower lash line. Just pressing that up against my waterline, mainly focusing on the outer corner. And that is a completed look for my Soul and Ma palette, my fifth look for this video. I am wearing the Bador Light once again, and I actually did wear this lash for all of the five looks. For my lip color, I did a mixture of Vitamin C and Ocean Avenue, and I just blotted that down onto my lips. And this guys is going to wrap up my video for today and this is probably like my 8th or 10th time trying to film this video today. I recorded like most of it then I had to stop halfway just because today's lighting was just out of control and it pissed me off so much. Uh, so it's literally like 4 o'clock right now and I started filming since 9am. So you can see how long it's taken me just to film this video. Today was a big struggle but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. put a lot of work into this one so if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up for me. I seriously would appreciate it so much if you did. Comment down below your thoughts on this collection, the palettes, the lip colors, the highlighters. What did you think? Did you pick anything up? Are you going to pick anything up? I want to hear your opinion in the comments down below. So yeah, with that being said, that is pretty much the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! The princess is here! Said I always be your friend, talking out my stick it out to the end. Oh girl.